The output shows that wget is already installed on the system but in case if your system do not have the wget then it will be installed by using this command. Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux Hint YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you that how we can install and use Wine on Linux Mint. Wine is a program that allows running Microsoft Windows programs on Linux. So let's start it. Wine runs on the 32-bit system. Therefore, run the following command to check if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit system. Uname hyphen P. If your system is 32-bit then you will only see x86 here and if your system is 64-bit then you will see an output like this x86 underscore 64. My system is 64-bit. So in this case what we have to do we have to enable 32-bit architecture by using the following command. I am pasting the commands here and the commands are available in the description of this video so you can copy and paste the commands. So now we have to add the repository key for wine but at first make sure that your system has wget so run the following command apt Alright, the output shows that wget is already installed on the system but in case if your system do not have the wget then it will be installed by using this command. Let me clear the terminal. Next we have to run the following command to download the public key for the wine repository. Now we have to import this key to the system keyring by using the command. So now we have to open the source file on our system and add the two repositories which are needed for wine and add these repositories at the bottom of the list. This is the easiest way of adding the repositories in the latest Linux Mint. Run the following command to open the sources list. Alright, the sources list is opened. And now paste these commands in the sources list and save this file. Alright. Let me clear the terminal. Next we have to run the following command to install the repositories on our Linux Mint system. Alright, the repositories are added successfully and now we have to update the apt cache and this will rebuild the cache with data from the wine repositories. sudo apt update Finally, your system is ready to install the wine stable version. So now run the following command to install it. I will press Y here to continue this process. So the installation is done and once the installation completes it's time to test it. So run the following command Y double hyphen version. This command basically print out the current version of the wine that is installed on your system. Before we download any Windows exe file and use Wine to install Windows program, so we need to run the Wine configuration program by using the following command in the terminal and the command is Wine CFG. So this command will help you install the Wine packages on your Linux Mint system. So when you see any window that contains the install button, you have to press on the install button. So here we have to choose the Windows version and I am choosing Windows 10. So 
So now let's see how we can use Wine after the successful installation. And in this demo, I will be using two different popular tools that are exclusive to the Windows like Notepad++ which is one of the most powerful text editor and Footer which is a photo editing platform. Go to the official website of Notepad++ and download the latest installer. Make sure to get the 32-bit installer. Click on save file and press OK. The downloading is complete. Now let's install it. Right click on it. Choose the first option. Open with Wine Windows Program Loader. Select it. Add first. Select the language here. Click on next. Accept the license agreement. As of the installation location, keep the default one because Wine is managing the location automatically. So no need to change that. Click on next. Select the features here that you would like to enjoy. Click on next. Create shortcut on desktop. Click on install. Click on finish to complete the installation. Notepad++ is now ready to use. Alright, now go to the Footer official website and download it. Save file. Click on OK. The downloading is complete. Now right click on it. Choose the first option. Accept the license agreement. Click on next, next. Now click on next, click on finish. The application is successfully installed and it is ready to use. The commands that I have used in this demo are available in the description of this video. So you can copy and paste from there. I hope you found this video useful for installing and using Wine on Linux Mint 19. Keep following us on the Linux Mint YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe it for more useful videos about Linux. Thank you.